smartphones are everywhere. Uh, from CEOs to CIOs to HR executives to average end users, everyone is using a smartphone with lots and lots of really important data flowing around these little devices. Uh, in this webcast, I have invited the CTO of Kaspersky Lab, Mr. Nikolai Grabenikov, to talk about uh, security issues on smartphones, how Kaspersky, what's Kaspersky's vision for protecting smartphones. So let me ask you, do you, uh, when you, when you think about uh, secure, securing smartphones, are you cloning what you're doing on the desktop exactly for smartphones or do you have to look at security on these devices entirely differently and kind of build it from scratch? Yeah. Hello Ryan, and uh, smartphones is really a hot topic and uh, we have developed a taxonomy of threats we see on smartphones and it's not uh, exactly the same as we have on big machines and um, I can say that our application for smartphones are different uh, compared to big applications for laptops and uh, PCs. Right. But uh, if we talk about threats for smart on, on smartphones, uh, it's not just uh, malware. Of course, we know about right. malware families and it's growing uh, right now. But also we have privacy issues here and um, uh, data protection and uh, theft issues. At the same time, social engineering tricks like phishing and right. others are very important. And the URL categorization, right. URL filtering, parental control is also one of the topics we have to pay attention to. Right. And the growth of smartphones, the explosion of popularity in smartphones is driven entirely by the fact that there's an app for that. There's an app for everything. Uh, do you uh, look at uh, app, uh, app, uh, you know, the reputation of applications as they're downloaded or, or how do you go about uh, determining uh, how whether an app in a store is clean or dirty and how do you, can you talk a little bit about app, application yeah. protection? Uh, we have uh, anti-malware component in our uh, smartphone products for all operating systems we support right now, including Android, Blackberry, uh, Windows and others. And the uh, main core technology here is signature database plus some type of heuristics. They're not so big uh, as on big machine, but it's, right now it's enough to detect current families of uh, malware. Uh, and uh, some of applications we have on uh, malicious applications on smartphone, they uh, try to do very simple things, like they um, try to send SMS to premium numbers, right. and uh, it's very simple, and we can just check this uh, by list of premium numbers right. and block or uh, we can, for example, work with malicious application on smartphone which try to get uh, your identif identificators of device and some other information. We can just check and block access to this uh, important data on your smartphone. So right now, uh, the behavior of malicious application on smartphone are not, is not so uh, no, complicated as on big machine, but our prediction when in the future we will see the same type of Trojans and worms as we right. see on big machines. When you talk about the taxonomy, uh, you, you mentioned privacy, big, big issue. Uh, what sort of uh, privacy components are built into the mobile security products to, uh, to protect end users? Are you just looking uh, at you know, GPS coordinates? How are you, um, you know, how are you protecting privacy on mobile devices? One of the issues with uh, mobile devices is that they are small and right. you can simply um, lost this Easy device lose, somewhere. Right? Yes, and uh, after that, if you have some important information, especially if you use this device as your not just home device but working device uh, with IT consumerization trend, you really interested to, you know, that this data will not be available for right. other guys. Photographs. Yes, yes. And in this case, it's a good idea to remove this data from device remotely. And we have this component in our um, uh, Kaspersky Mobile Security Solution. So you can track the position, the location of your device and you can remotely wipe your device with, right. if it's necessary. Uh, URL watching. Uh, we know about URL watching on the desktop side. Is that something you've, you've, you've brought entirely over to the mobile product or is that something you also had to build from scratch? Uh, just explain how you go about looking at 
uh, yeah. looking for malicious websites. We uh, definitely think that URL filtering is a component which will be very, very useful for all type of mobile devices, including Apple devices, including Android-based devices and others. Because here we have very simple concept that people use devices mostly to surf the web and the um, bad guys will try to penetrate them via this channel. Unfortunately, on mobile devices, uh, browsers are not so smart as on big machines right, right now. And uh, we have to provide protection against phishing, against malicious URLs, and uh, against some pornographic URLs in case right. of parental control. And yes, we create uh, the database of uh, bad links, and we classify these links with our content filtering lab. So, uh, but this is something which is uh, on the rise and right. we also develop new technologies in this area right now. You mentioned a few platforms, Symbian, Windows Mobile, Blackberry. Um, but the one thing you didn't mention, obviously, is the big one in the room is iPhone. Uh, are you doing anything at all on the security side in iPhones? Are we likely to see a full security suite for iPhone or is that something not on the cards, one? And two, what can you do for iPhones or what are you doing right now? Yeah, uh, you know, Apple company uh, thinks that uh, they do not need security on their devices because they are secure by default. And uh, this is a big, there is a big difference uh, with uh, Google approach with Android based devices. And uh, Android is much more open platform compared to iOS and iOS based devices. I think that in the future, Apple uh, will have to change the concept a little bit because people really like flexibility. They need new applications and uh, initial, you know, initial push of iOS, iOS applications. It will be, it's not enough you know, to attract people more and more for the next, future, next years. And uh, if you think about security on Apple-based devices, uh, we can say that URL filtering is definitely a case right. here. Uh, phishing is definitely a case. Privacy issues is a case here. And uh, we have to provide some security and protection on this type of devices. So in Kaspersky right now, we have a research project uh, to create URL filtering uh, component for Apple-based devices. And uh, at the same time, right now, we already released uh, one application for Apple devices, uh, which is SMS deblocker. And right now, you know, we got a third place in Russian Apple Store for free applications. What does the deblocker do? Uh, deblocker is an application which help, uh, helps you in case your machine is infected by Trojan blocker. Okay. Uh, this type of Trojans block your machine, show some bad pictures right. on this machine and ask you to send SMS to premium number. So run to somewhere. Unblocking right. code, right. right. And in this case, you can uh, go get your iPhone and enter numbers you see on, on the screen of your big machine uh, to this application and uh, Unblocker will help you to um, remove this Trojan from your system. You mentioned it's popular in Russian. Uh, is it available in English? Is it, will it be available? It will English? be available in English in about two weeks from okay. today. Excellent. Can you leverage the cloud on the mobile side as well? Is that uh, something that works uh, the way you do it on, on the desktop? Is that something that works on the mobile side? Exactly. You touched a very interesting point that uh, Kaspersky cloud service is really useful, especially for such small, small devices like smartphones, because we can use the power of millions of big machines uh, knowledge about threats on big machines right. and uh, big storage we have on Kaspersky servers and right. internet to help such smartphone um, users to fight against new threats and to block new threats uh, on the, in the cloud. Right. This so is exactly it's happening on both sides. Yeah, yeah, it's a very beneficial model, and uh, and smartphones is one of the uh, you know one of the um, types of devices where KSN is uh, mostly helpful. Right. Thank you very much, Nick. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. You can check some other webcasts at youtube.com slash Kaspersky. Mm -hmm.